Hello, good evening. Hello, Marielos, Julio, Edis. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Fine. You're happy to be back so warm. in classes? Yes. Yes? Perfect. Sure. Did you have fun in the, in the vacation time? Yeah, I think. Yeah? Did you yeah. relax, take a time for yourself? No? Yes. And also, uh, 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 I have to say, uh, we are, we, uh, I don't know how to be, because two way I was uh -huh. the entire weekend on the beach. <gasps> really? The whole mm -hmm. week? So that's why you look a little bit uh -huh. <laughs> like, yeah, tan, but, tan, but tan. The, 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 past, the, past, the past weekend, uh, the first uh, in, uh, when the. Oh, the, so but uh, it was only the weekend or the entire sorry. week? No, only one weekend. Oh, I From thought you were the whole, Friday, whole week. Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Wow, excellent. What what beach did you visit? Tamanique. Oh, Tamanique. Uh, near from the Tunco. Near to Tunco, yes. And did you stay at a place, at a hotel, or where did you stay? Uh, a ranch? A club. Uh, On a club. Salvadoreño. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. It is... a, a, night, a night and place. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Well, that's good. And I think the first weekend, like right before the vacation, it's really good to go out because there's not a lot of people, right? Right. And this last weekend, yes. yeah, there were like tons of people. This is the main reason. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. I went to Alegría here in Osultan. I went to Alegría three times. <laughs> so La I was- La, La Laguna? Yeah, the Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we bring hammocks and ah. we hang the hammocks and we bring food uh, to the lagoon. Oh, oh, every every time we go, we we, we bring food and hammocks. So this uh, last week we brought that and we were there spending time and also taking naps. We were sleeping <laughs> because wow. it was it was really good. It was excellent. Uh, what about the weather? Uh, it's place. so nice in in the, really? in the like, yeah in the lagoons it's so nice because it's i don't know how how to say this but it's far from the beach so it's yeah. not as hot as susulutan yeah yeah so yeah it's really good and i like it and i loved it it was really really nice but i don't know why your classmates are not coming to the class i'm gonna text them yeah. Uh, the right uh, mm -hmm. Alegria Lagoon is near from one country or Sultan. It's near to what? To from one country. Uh, I mean, uh, a city. It's near from to Sultan. a city, Musultan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Alegría is near to Sulután, like at 35 minutes. Like oh. it's 35 minutes drive. And there's another town near to Alegría that's Santiago de Maria. That's Santiago de Maria. like five oh. minutes from Santiago de Maria, maybe five, something like that, five-ish. Excellent. So, well. Welcome Milton, welcome Miguel. We're happy to have you here. We're just talking about the, like Julio was sharing that he spent a weekend in the beach. So that was really nice, right? And I hope you had a great vacation. I hope you had some rest. I hope that you relaxed a little bit. Also another thing that I did, is I slept a lot because I don't have time to sleep. So I slept a lot. It was a lot.
Okay, so happy to have you here. Thank you for your puntuality. I know that sometimes when we come back from vacation, it's really hard to connect to the class. You're like, uh, I don't wanna connect to the class because yes, I was on a vacation. I know, I know, believe me, believe me, I know. <laughs> because like you, me, I was on vacation, right? And I had a class at 4, 4.30 PM. And at, at the beginning I was like, ah, class today I don't want to. and also because you know that I work for like the Mineducit I work for for the government because I'm a teacher in a public school but we don't start classes today we start classes tomorrow so starting today online was like I don't want to <laughs> so believe me I know you don't want to be here. I know, I know, but we're going to make it worth it. Okay, so I appreciate that you connected to the class. Not all the people are here because I know there are like a lot of people that need to be here and they are not. Maybe they are still on vacation. Who knows? Okay, uh, we're going to share a little bit because I want you to start speaking. I did. I don't know if you had a chance to speak English during the vacation. Maybe not. Or did you speak English during the vacation? Did you meet with a person from the United States? No? No? No. Okay, so uh, we're still, I know, English, if you don't practice it, it gets away. So what we're going to do at, right now, just something to share and you, something for you to speak because I want you to speak, that's what I want you to do, is we're gonna go to the breakout rooms and we're gonna share how was the vacation? I just want you to start speaking with your classmates and start sharing. But that's gonna be like five minutes and then we're gonna come back here, okay? But I want you to speak in English because I know English is a little bit there. You need to wake up the English. You say, wake up, wake up. We need to study, okay? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go, let me see. Oh no, what did I do? Yeah, perfect. There you go. Briselda, welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm cooking right now. <laughs> oh, you're cooking. Okay, okay. Yes. So right now your classmates are in the breaker rooms just speaking about their vacation, how the oh. vacation was and stuff like that. So I'm going to send you to one. Maybe you can only listen. And if you have the chance, try to okay. participate. Okay. 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 Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, bodies. Hi, teacher. Welcome to the class. Thank you. What happened here? Um, your classmates are in the breaker rooms. Oh, okay. So I'm going to send you to one. Right now, what they are doing is they are like trying to speak a little bit English. So they are talking about the vacation. What did you do and the stuff like that. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to send you to one and try yes. to participate. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you.
eh, mil pirolas en in, pusas in, 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 uh -huh. so, so in the park mil dólares es... Okay. Dólar, dólar más. ¿Cuánto dólar por por each pupusa? Por each. Dólar big. Thirty dólar eh, with my big family is. Ah, eh, ah, family. okay. Yes, I yes. think I think only only one pupusa. <laughs> no, no, it's it's eight persons. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and you what? Uh, beach did you visit? Did, did you visit? Uh, El Tunco. Wow, it's a marvelous beach. So, yeah. uh, did you surf, surf in, in the beach? No. No. I can't. You're not, you not surfer. Okay. <laughs> I can swim. Swim. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's another depth. For me, do it for me because I can't swim. Oh, mm -hmm. I I I want, wanted to to learn to swim, but I didn't reach that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because I I was afraid every time. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> So you were really entertained speaking about your vacation, right? Or asking your classmates about your vacation because you didn't want to come to the class. You were speaking there in the break rooms. Okay, perfect. So it seems like almost everybody went to the beach. That was the favorite place to go for what I could listen, right? And yeah, so that was the main place to go, perfect. I hope that you enjoyed your vacation, like, as I told you. And now it's time to learn English again, right? And time to make the money because we cannot make money if we're in vacation. Okay, perfect. <laughs> let's go uh, with the topic we have for today. But before we go to the topic, let's start with the date because you know we have to write the date. And let's see if that, that was still on your mind during vacation, okay? Send the date to the chat, please. Remember, only send it to Inglés Corporativo.
perfect. Yes, good. Remember always capital letter for the day of the week and capital letter for the month of the year. Perfect, good job Marielo, good job Miguel, and good job Julio. And did you have vacations on your jobs? I don't remember. Did you did you have vacation? Like from your jobs? Sorry, I don't I don't follow you. Okay, I'm asking if you had vacation. So you had vacation from the English class. You have vacation, but in your jobs. Did you have vacation? Yeah. How long? All entire week. <gasps> oh, wow, very good. You have a government job? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I share with, with the uh, partners, with Milton and Miguel, uh, I took my vacation and in, in, in the whole week and August and December. So you take your vacations in three in three parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's that that's a good way to do it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah I have my vacation too. <laughs> no. I have my vacations on Holy Week, on August, on December. I think the whole month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's gonna be my first time. That, not with these classes. With these classes, no. With the online classes, no. I have to work any, like every month. Okay, perfect. Uh, I have, yes, good job, Boris. Yes, good job, Briselda. No, Briselda, the only case is April 1st and 18th after. Okay. So if you wrote Monday, April 18th, 2022 or 2022, that is correct. Remember when the pronunciation, with the pronunciation, guys, you have to do the 18th, 18th. Don't only do the 18th because that's like, no, the way. We're talking about cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. And when we talk about dates, we use the ordinal numbers. So the ordinal number will be 18th, 18th. Like in Spanish, that will be like decimo octavo. That's how they do it in English. That's just how they do it. Okay. Now, we're gonna watch three videos, if I'm not mistaken, and we're gonna talk about the past models. So models like could, must, should, would. So we're gonna talk in three ways. The first, no, in two ways, mainly. The first one is to talk about degrees for certainty, certainty, that meaning that if you are certain that something happened, certain is like la certeza that something happened, okay? And then we're gonna do this one and is past models for opinions and advice. So, but let's watch the first one we have here. And then we're gonna do a practice. Wait, I don't know. Did I share the sound? No, I didn't share the sound. Okay, sorry, my bad. This time we'll study past models for degrees of certainty. Stay and find out what this is about. Past models for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for the time. Okay, 
here in this part, look, we have the examples and we're talking about that something happened, how certain were that something happened. Okay, so it's almost certain, meaning that it, it's very possible that this situation happened. So to talk about that it's very possible that a situation happened, we're gonna use must and then the present perfect as you already know it, right? She have left or had, in this case it will be has, right? She has left already. But we're using a model verb. So in this case, the model, it's there, it's the main one there. So we don't need to use has, it's only have. So this is to talk about something that is very possible that happened. For example, uh, you need to go to a place and you don't know if they are opened, but it's 3.55 and they closed at four. So by the time you get there, they could, well, here, they could have closed, okay? Because it's very possible, or they must have closed when you get there. Now, uh, there's something that is not possible. We're gonna use negative couldn't, couldn't. And for the it's possible, okay, 50-50, you're gonna use may or might. Both, both of, the, of them, like there's not a big difference between these two model, past models. You can use my, may or you can use might. The only difference for me is the pronunciation because the first one is may and the second one is might, okay? So you can use both. That's why they are together here. She may have forgotten time. It's possible, 50-50. Or she might have forgotten the time. Next one is she may not have remembered the time and she might not have remembered the time. The same one with could. Her car could have broken down. Okay, and again, just to make an emphasis on this one, it's not possible at all. That is not a chance that that happened. She couldn't have been at home. Okay, so that's something that it wasn't possible. That's just something that I can add to this, but let's listen what the person has to say about this. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. When you want to use may, might, or could have, this is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations participle. Okay, as you see here, so this is the rule that you need to follow to use the past models. Uh, four degrees of certainty. So you need to use the subject, then the past model, and then the have and the past participle. This is like the present perfect, right? Present perfect, the present perfect rule. Okay, now, for example, I, sorry, I could have forgotten the class today. Wait a minute, guys, let me know someone that Sorry guys, an emergency happened. Okay, anyways, but not it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, it's a big deal. Sorry, I have puppies and they are really, they like to fight with each other. Okay, what I'm telling you is, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, we use the subject that can be, um, I, you, we, they, a person, whatever. 
Then we use the past, I mean the past modal verb. Then we use have plus the past participle. Okay, that's what we're gonna use. And that rule applies to could, to might, to may, and to couldn't as well. Okay, mm, let me see. Now, she's gonna present to you two situations and then we're gonna give like an opinion about what happened using this one. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations. We want you to come up with the best. Okay, listen to the situations because then I'm gonna ask you. Best explanation. Number one, your best friend is in a terrible mood today. Okay, so the first one that she's saying, no. Oh. He doesn't look good that way. Like, that's better. <laughs> your best friend is in a terrible mood today. So meaning your best friend is angry. Your best friend is like annoyed by everything. So what could have happened? We're gonna use this uh, structure that we just learned to talk about it. For example, if my best friend is a ter in a terrible mood today, maybe, she couldn't, or she could have, um, she could have had a bad night, right? Maybe she didn't sleep enough, she didn't sleep well, or my best friend couldn't, or I mean, what must, my best friend must have stayed awake during the night, or my best friend must have had a fight, right? must have had a fight with her husband or something. And she's in a terrible mood today. That's something that I'm guessing. The second one, but you're gonna give your opinion on, two, on the other ones. Your brother or sister. Your brother or sister is short of money again. Do you know what is short of money? You don't know what is the meaning of that? Excuse me, teacher. Do you know the meaning of short of money? Like Porto dinero. Porto. Oh, okay. Like this person doesn't have enough money again, mm -hmm. again. So meaning, imagine your brother or your sister, um, they don't have money again because maybe they spend it on other things. So. What the situation you can you can use the structure with what is the situation? So you can use the structure is for example, maybe my brother must have spent his money on other things, right? That's just my example. Or my sister couldn't have saved her money, right? Because maybe she likes to buy shoes or it's something like that. So, but do you get the activity that these are the two situations? The first one is, wait, 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 wait. The first one, ah, but your best friend is in a terrible mood, okay? What happens? And the second one is your sister or your brother, they are short on money again, what could have happened, okay? I'm gonna maybe if just for you to understand it better. Okay, so these are the two situations. Your best friend is in a terrible mood and your brother and sister is short of money. Again, what could have happened? And I'm gonna add a situation. The teacher didn't connect 
to the test. So what would have happened? I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna copy and paste. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so these are the three situations we're gonna discuss. The first one is your best friend is in a terrible mood. What could have happened? Your brother or sister is short on money again. What could have happened? And the teacher didn't connect to the class. What could have happened? And I want you to discuss these situations and give an answer, the best possible answer that you can find, but using the structure that we just learned. Is the activity clear? Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, take a screenshot of the questions, maybe, if, if possible, so that can be better. And let me know when you have the screenshot, okay? Are you ready? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So who, what, what, what happened here? Ah, uh, okay. What is disconnected? What is disconnected? Okay. Okay, let's go. Ibis, Julio, please join the breakout rooms.
It's very possible. He could have um, have had a job. Mm -hmm. And in another, uh, the teacher didn't connect to the class. That could have yeah. happened. My my not have uh, connection. Connection, uh, maybe. Uh, maybe it's raining there. Oh, cool. It's possible. Uh, it's may. Um, it's may have rain, raining. Yeah. I don't know. Store nice. with thunder. Thunder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you may. say it. Well, yeah. Okay, continue. Perdón. Pensé que nos vamos a dar el segundo, pero good, good, good. Teacher, it's good. She may, she may, could uh, have a problem with the, with your family. Eight and could decide on one because you're using two modal verbs. Made or could. Made. Okay. She may. She may. She may. She may. No. She, she may. might. She may. She might. She may. She so may. you can say might or may. Might or may. <laughs> might. Is uh, it the same? It's or may. Or the same. may. So she might. She might. Uh -huh. She might have a problem with your family. She might have had. Remember have that is have in the have past participle. Have, have had. She might yeah. have had a problem with her family. Her. With her we're talking family. about yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, with okay, her family. Okay, her. May she yeah. assault. <laughs> okay, my brother. <laughs> my have assault assault because okay. it's short of money again. Yeah. Okay, the next, the teacher didn't connect to the class. What could have happened? Um, she may have bad connection to the internet. Yes, it's, it's my, uh, my no, no have internet connection, yes. Okay. Uh, she may have forgotten to give us class. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, do you have another option? Teacher, first question. Repeat, please. Do you have another option or answer to the first question? Oh, yes. Uh, she might uh, have a
Okay, perfect. They're coming now. Okay. I'm going to ask for groups, what are some answers? So the first question, I'm going to make the first question. It was, let me see. So the first question here was, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but the first was, uh, uh, let me remember. Oh, my best friend is in a bad mood. What could have happened? Okay, uh, Evis, can you tell me the answer that you uh, that you have with your group? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, can you tell me the answer you have with your group? Best friend is a bad mood. Uh, my best friend is a bad mood because she couldn't take her nap. She couldn't take her nap. Okay, okay, that's valid, valid. Not with the present perfect, but valid. Okay, thank you, Ibis. Uh, let me see. Briselda, oh, you were in the same group or not? Yes. Yeah, you were in the same yes. group. Okay, I'm gonna go with the other one. Uh, Marielos. Uh, your brother or sister are or is short in money again. What could have happened? Um, okay, he must have um, spent the money on vacation. She must have, yeah, perfect. Thank you, Marielos. And the next question is going to be for Julio. That is eating watermelon. <laughs> Julio. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Julio, the teacher didn't connect to the class. What could have happened? She might, she may have had problems with her puppy. <laughs> <laughs> good one, good it's one. Possible. Very good. One. Thank you, Julio. Yes, good job. Good You're job. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Well, I have two puppies actually. They are two puppies, and they are, oh, they are so needy. You know what is needy? They are so needy. And they and they are really jealous. So they are brothers, but they are jealous. So if I'm talking to one of the puppies, the other one comes and they, and he starts like barking and angry because I'm I'm petting the other puppy and not petting him. And they, they are so jealous. Like uh, <sighs> they require a lot of attention. They are only three months old. Three, three months old, yeah, three months old. They are only that, and they are, uh, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying, but yeah, <laughs> it's difficult. I don't know, if this is difficult, having kids must be really complicated because these ones, I only close the door and they fight. But with the babies, <laughs> you cannot do that, okay? But Let's go and watch another video that if this is just to give you an idea to give advices and opinions with the past models. And that's it. Let me, let, let's go. Wait, wait, wait a second. I need to share the sound. Excellent. I've lent them to her. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go, as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past modals for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should 
not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. So just a quick reminder. So for opinion, should. And for giving advice, would have or could have, okay? I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, that's an activity for the next class. By now it's already time to go, so I'm gonna let you go and I will see you guys tomorrow. And remember, this is the last week that we're going from Monday to Friday. Next week, I think we only have four classes next week, if I'm not mistaken, yes. right? Yeah. So these are only nine classes left, five this week and four the next week and that's it, okay? Yeah. Try to work on the platform because we need to be by section four this week. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good night, guys. Perfect. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow.